Hello again, it's me, David, and welcome back to the inappropriately named short play. Uh, I'm still playing this game, which... <clears throat> welcome back, everyone, to the inappropriately named short play. It's me, David, and we're still playing Space Haven. And... I'm about to send a spaceship off to get eaten by Gribblies in a derelict spaceship, I think. Uh, I didn't know this game was like this. <coughs> um, not to this extent, anyway. I I knew it had... Uh, I thought it would be kind of a, oh, click and go, and then it does an instance. Not send a spaceship with guys in an APC shuttle. You just go wherever you want. This is... Unexpected, to say the least. Um, those asteroids. Yeah, that's so cool. Sorry, I really... Really like this. So those are engines, I think. And there's a couple of docking clamps. So what I'll do is I'll aim to uh, get around this far side. I think I'll take the tight end. It just makes more sense to me to not go in this stupid derelict space where there's clearly debris everywhere. Alright, so I'm going to bypass this docking clamp. I'm going to go for that docking clamp. And hopefully, nothing's going to eat us. Oh, there's a dock button. Alright, there we go. Okay, yeah, this, this is a uh, really well done. Uh, better than I expected it to be. So... Okay, so I'm gonna dock. Oh, that's cool. That is that is really cool. So now I am docked. And I can get out and hopefully not die horrifically. They should have their spacesuits on. Oh that dynamic music changes are nice. Okay, this game likes its... So what have we got here? Oh, you can just go out there. You must un undraft your shuttle before it can transport salvage resources from the ship. Okay. No, 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 what, what are you doing, what are you doing, what are you doing? Draft. Ooh, okay, that's, uh... Hmm. I have, I have issues with that. Okay, which of you has the really high shooting skill? Gunner skill, even. Eudora does. door can take point. Guard this corridor. Ah, oh, so there's lots of resources here to, to, to find and collect. Now, I don't know how the combat works. I probably need to run off to... Um, Get some oxygen soon. Is there a door there? I missed. 
Oh, you can space. Oh, you can space fly. Which means enemies can probably space fly as well. Okay, cool. It's time to head back. I think. The moment. So it's no gribblies of yet, which is uh, nice. Oh, whoops. That was a mistake. Right, lads. Uh, back to the shuttle, I think. Top up your O2. Oh, man. This is uh, not what I expected, to be honest. Um, I didn't quite know. Yeah, get in the ship, please. I, I, I don't I don't know what I expected I, I kind of like I thought it would be I wasn't expecting like a, a strategy element to it like room clearing and shit uh, and just just general shipboarding this is a weird plus also the way their heads rotate is really interesting okay so I've cleared those rooms actually what I will do can I move the ship? That pilot? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. So I can dock it onto this one. Except, so now I can move, and there's there's stuff. There are things. There's very limited light. Okay, so this has been hit by a meteorite or something. An asteroid. It's been blown through. <laughs> So I think Gribblies are unlikely now. Some there's another power generator, some other kit. I might as well get on this other side here and take a look. Hmm. Okay, no Gribblies, good. This is probably not probably not able to be used as a vessel. But I can definitely salvage the parts, I think. Okay, okay. So that door's open. I said no gribblies of yet. There's resources all over the place. So a lot more red than I like to see in a room. Oh, okay, those are command stations. I don't like how that door looks like it's been. Oh, it's just the wall regulator, okay. Fine, fine, fine. That's... Ah! Okay, cool. So it's been explored. Right. No griblies. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Okay, you guys get on board there. Select the explored derelict by clicking the mess this message or zooming out to tactical view and open the salvage tab to salvage resources. The transfer tab can be used to bring the salvage resource back to your ship. Note that your crew members and the shuttle need to be undrafted in order to salvage and transfer. Okay, fine. That's fine. So undraft that. And then it works the same as mining. Which is great. So now I've got this big old pile of resources which I might do uh, how much is that actually oh okay so there's no surefire okay okay so might as well just take it all over time as and when so this ship's looking healthier now uh, I still want to put more lights out. I mean, to be honest, I think, I think there'd be a lot of merit in um, switching out to wall lights in most cases, like this one here. Just dismantle it, just because those parts are important. <laughs> well, this is looking nice. 
it's looking wholesome. Although I do need to actually do that thing I wanted to do with the walls and make sure that is blocked off. Because this isn't supposed to be a... This is meant to be a hermetically sealed room, was my thinking. Uh, though I do need an actual door on there. So. Yeah. Oh, I see. So doors also take those parts up. All right, right. Uh, environment condition. What? What is the problem there? Low oxygen. Why? Why is oxygen low? What? There is no low oxygen. That is. That is rubbish. You are lying to me. CO2 is whatever. Okay. <sighs> Obviously, at the moment, this is just a four-man space brick. So, it's it's nothing special. It's nothing special. Um, the whole stabilizers can wait. I think the goal now is going to be to salvage as much as possible, except that. I need, and this is a key thing, I need to get more power generation because as it stands right now, the power generation is limited to rods and solar is the only long-term solution I've got and I've already built one of those. But I feel like, um, yeah, I feel, I feel like there's gonna be long-term impacts if I don't get this sorted because, well, I mean, the uh, the tutorials actually seems pretty pretty good. Oh, okay, Salvage is literally just ripping the ship to pieces. Okay. I was very amused that you can actually just go over and it's like, oh, cool, you have a uh, sleep in a bed. I snow level drafted, whoops. All right. Um, so as soon as that door is in, then this will be ready to uh, be used as intended. The whole idea is that you have a CO2, you have a nice sealed CO2 area. That is nice and, and nice. It's nice. That's the idea. So at the moment I've got my, I don't know why I built these walls, I'm a waste of time, I'll just leave them there. Yeah. I've got this industrial zone, which is horrible to be around, and I have a growing area and a residential area. And I don't really want the two sides to intermingle too much, because I feel like that would cause some issues. I'd rather people were comfortable. But I do now get that some of the other ships is quite, it's quite tight and not open plan. So that's important. Hmm. I gotta say the music is really nice in this game. Just as background music. I gotta save it actually. I haven't saved it at all in three episodes. It might auto save. I don't know. Um. Hmm. Well, I've got a nice open space there. I can do something with. Uh. I don't really know how to improve the the general pleasantness of an area. Comfort twenty, standby power. Uh huh. Uh, poops make water. Obviously. Hmm. You could always whack up another side of the panel. And uh, so yeah, no, I'll whack up another side of the panel. Just because I think that the trickle power is out of merit. I think there's definitely a, a, a massive bonus to getting that stuff done. What's going on over here? Oh, they're just salvaging stuff. Cool. Let me crack on with that. Uh, I'm going to go to fast mode because I don't foresee any immediate problems apart from maybe there being obvious problems I can't see yet. Okay, so I'm getting food and resources, that's all good. I don't have hull stabilizers and that's not gonna happen for a long time. 
because um, I don't see the point in trying to do that yet, unless something's going to turn up and blow me out of the air. Space. Um, hmm. It does beg the question of what to do with immediacy. What are what are the things that need managing? Everyone's morale is a bit shoddy, to be honest. That's rest, happy. No, happiness is, is a bar that's in the pier up here. Okay. Okay. Tito is unhappy. But he is having free time. So that's nice for Tito. Everyone's sleeping. Okay. Oh, man. Right. Let's... I know I need these, so that's valuable, All right? Uh, I have one available four. Hmm. Oh, whole blocks, right, 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 yeah. Yeah, nice. Okay. Oh, fractional infra blocks. Fractional infra blocks. That's helpful. Not. Okay. So three for one. Gotcha. And yeah. All right. So has everyone just gone to harvest the thing? I guess I have. This is. It's a thing they can do. For sure. Oh, they're mining the actual. Oh, cool. Okay. So some of them are, are salvaging parts and others of them are salvaging hull. That's nice. Okay, that's really nifty. It's really feels really alive. But I, I feel like this is one of those games where you end up actually running in speed just to get through sections. Um, otherwise, you end up kind of paying a little bit too much time staring at not a lot happening. That's not really a criticism of the game. It's just. It is the nature of things. You're going and stripping out a ship. It takes time. But this, I, I don't know when there's a there's a game coming out which is literally just breaking up ships, and I really want to play that when it comes out. But this is a uh, tickling, tickling, tickling that need. Very much tickling that need. So I'm doing a lot better than when I tried playing previously because I, I think it took me about three runs of this. I'd never got this far before, so it took me about three runs to kind of get to grips with how the basic premises work. I think if I were to play it again, the first thing I would do is, um, first of all, block off, use walls a lot more, because you're clearly supposed to. Uh, I, I'm clearly playing this game a little bit wrong, because you're meant to use walls to contain your equipment, which now I know. Um, Actually, on that topic, I think it might be time to do a bit of expansion work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How far up does that one come? I'm one of those people. Yes, I like symmetry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. actually tells me. I, I don't know why I'm counting it when it does in fact just tell me. That's a huge project that's going to take a very long time. So <sighs> yeah that's no griblies on the ship. That was uh, unexpected to be honest. <coughs> I've still not built that door yet. No. Oh yeah because I'm out of uh, resources. Yeesh. Okay so I might as well prioritize that. Can I prioritize that? A uh, hey, highest, just do them. Just do them. Please. Just watch some little guys run around. I mean, let's see how these people are doing. So, Adeline's happy. <laughs> Dora's miserable. 
Uh, Guy is okay. And Tito is happy. That's nice. I think it's processed somehow. So I should have more infra blocks. I've got hull blocks for sure. Yeah, that expansion is going to give me a lot more room. I'll keep the corridor as a corridor. I'll um, block it off and put doors in. So then you have a lot like an arterial. Uh, I might put more doors in actually to for hull breaches. That would be very sensible. How much of that ship's left? Yeah, this is what I mean. It, it's such a huge process to do this that it's worthwhile kind of just letting it happen. But I also feel like the, the entire length of time uh, that goes into stripping the ship down uh, stops everything on your main vessel. Maybe it's because the uh, airlock blocked Incoming transfer salvage mining blocked. Oh. Logistics overwhelmed. What? <laughs> Your crew is swamped with logistics tasks. If your refineries and other cities are continuously producing more resources, consider pausing production. And giving your crew time to carry resources to storages. I see. So... This is my fault. This is my fault. <laughs> uh, we are stopping this now. Okay. Okay, so we're going to stop salvaging for a bit. That is my fault. Now I understand. And everyone's asleep, so... Yeah. <laughs> I think I've got a pretty good balance for the whole space where people can relax. I think that's good. Um, I say I think it's good. I think it's cool. I didn't want to go for the kind of um, if you've played Alien Isolation, that thing where you have these bunk rooms that are all honeycombed and it's literally designed that way to let to for freedom of staff movement would be what I reckon would be the argument. Hold on. Mine and refine with refineries or some whole block low. Okay. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. That's not a problem. Uh, I'm just running at fast speed to knock this section out. Boom. Done. Awesome. Great. Ah. <sighs> now I feel like I can relax. Put up these walls, which are just buildy things, I think. So yeah, in Alien Isolation, the vibe that I generally got was that they would often put in uh, environments that were to be completely that they felt like they were just they were made interconnected for the sole purpose for the sole purpose of having uh, good xenomorph opportunities which makes sense for a horror game it, it really does but um, it also kind of uh, it's kind of obvious. Um, I mean, they, they, they were nice environments. They didn't feel contrived or anything else. They just were, it, it felt that that's what they were for. Um, and which I can't argue with. Um, I completely get that and I don't want to fault what was frankly a fantastic game for doing, doing an obvious thing. I mean, uh, considering jump scares exist in this world, I don't really, I don't really want to judge a horror game on its uh, level design. <laughs> but it did feel a little contrived. Um, now, what I'm planning to do with this is have that be. I, I know I should probably plan what's going in the rooms before building the walls, but I know roughly how much space I should need. But that's going to be kind of. Um, that is going to end up being a nice, uh, nicely. Si oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be a nicely sized uh, set of just system locations, I think. I'll put in 
that there, and that there. Because then I can do some loops so people can take more efficient pathways. Seeing as there's no cut through for the, um, I might not have enough resources available to do that, but. Are they up to the moon? Where is everyone? Where are my boys? Okay, yeah, that's not done. Are they sleeping or? Where are my people? <laughs> They're not here. Are they out here? No. Are they still salvaging? Oh, they're still salvaging, okay. I thought I said not to, but... Why is there human meat on this ship? Oh... No, I don't need human meat. There's no crew. Oh, that's super interesting. So, I think you can rebuild ships? Am I understanding that right? Auto maintenance, repair damage facilities and clean up messy areas automatically with time. Uh, oh! Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so I guess you can repair them. That is curious. Just gonna start letting them process all this junk. Airlock. Oh, jeez. Um, okay, let's just muscle through some time. Watch my ant people coming at speed. And there's no storage there. Well, you need more storage then. I, the way I tend to play these games is to have like dedicated storage locations. I am, I'm not really feeling like going mental and um, and completely ham fisting the whole thing because I just want to enjoy myself and just relax a bit. This game is quite relaxing, um, which is why I didn't play on a harder difficulty. Um, for, like depending on the games I'm playing, I'll either play on harder difficulties or lighter difficulties and basically just based off whether or not I think the harder difficulties will actually be more enjoyable for me. I, I used to play games on the hard, like by default I'd go hard mode and challenge myself or do stupid things like doing Dark Souls back to front using the Thieves Key, which <laughs> if, ever, if ever I have the time, I'll do that again, but it relies a little bit on getting the um, the black the the black knight glaive pot luck. You need high luck. You need to get that. It's the basically the most reliable dex weapon. Um, yeah, I think the first boss you do is four kings. <laughs> yeah, it is the first boss you do in that run is four kings because you need to do four kings, and then you do the you, then you put out every every light yeah you have to put out every fire link shrine and you don't like okay so the, I'll explain this at some point but the idea was I wanted to complete dark souls without using any bonfires and put out all the bonfires so every time I met a fire uh, a shrine where you could you know you had to get through each section without lighting bonfires so if you can imagine doing Sen's fortress in whole with no bonfires that was a thing I did um, way back when, if you know Dark Souls, um, and then obviously you join the Dark, you you, you go with Darkstalker, Karth, and then you put out the lights. Uh, it's just a thematic run that you can do, which is really hard. It, it's very challenging because you have to do it back to front. Because to get Darkstalker, Karth, you have to do a very specific pattern of gameplay. Anyway, if my memory is right, you have to do four kings early. And when I did it, it was like, I think the order of bosses, I think I might have done uh, the Spider Witch first. I can't remember. It's uh, a long time ago now. But. So I'm still building my ship out. I'm building that structure I mentioned with the with that backside. 
just going to pop those walls in that I wanted. I'll put the doors in, actually. Because hopefully this should allow me to kind of limit the amount of disruption that this causes. That's what I was hoping. <laughs> these, these toilets just there, open-backed now. There you go. So, uh, yes, toilets in space. Let's run at full speed. I don't, I, I'm starting to run out of actual reliable equipment. I think I'm okay on food. I think I'm okay on food. No more whole blocks. Yeah, makes sense. So... I just need to basically let them catch up with these jobs. Um, but we're still getting salvaged. Critical resource low. Oh, it's just a whole block, mate. Calm down. It's not like it's food. It, if it was like, oh, you have no food, I'd be like, oh, no. But it's a whole block. <laughs> so it's kind of a bit like, yeah, yeah okay. It's, uh, it's whatever, really. It's not a huge issue. Door there and put a door here. Okie dokie, and then I'm going to paint it because I'm lame like that and I like paint. I like for my sips to look nice. Yay! Cool. So, obviously, lighting's a bit weak in the new areas because it's not necessary. Uh, incoming ship. Everyone's sleeping again. Now the question is, if I build a, com a, a, uh, a system for communication, can I talk to them? Uh, the operation is I use to hail other spaceships and communicate with their crew. <sighs> Need to crew them to operate. So this is kind of basically a basic thing. So am I going to start putting in like... Or just go board their ship. <laughs> just shoot them and board their ship. <laughs> I wonder if that's possible to um, to do. Oh, oh no. Uh, why is this happening? Why why is there no power? What's causing this problem? Did I knock out a power thing? Is there too much power flow? Is that a choke point? Does it have power choke points? Power availability low. What? I didn't build any new power stuff. Or is it the doors that did it? That's a really good question. Um, that does concern me enormously. Okay. Um, so we've not a links issue. It's just actual power supply. Okie dokie. I'm just gonna do that link there. No, I am just I'm just down on power. Okay. Its output is good. Um, hmm, 15 per second. Maybe I just don't generate enough. Oh no, what have I done? Do I need a new power generator? Do I have enough for a new power generator? Oh, I don't have enough. Also, that's huge. However, to be completely... To be... To think about it, it does make sense to just whack another big boy on this side. Because there is enough power spread, but I don't have enough resources to do it. That's a problem. Is a problem. That's a pretty big problem. 
Oh no. Um, hmm, do that. And you've got power link up. And all as well. Okay. Ah, oh, dearie me. Uh, power, 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 power. Okay, so power is a massive issue. But it's kind of doing okay. So, recycle. We are going to kill all these jobs. We need infra, so. And custom priority. It is now going to be level three. Thank you. Now we're going to run this at speed, get some stuff, and hopefully start resolving these issues. And also I need to put some lights in those spaces, which is going to take time. I think comfort is okay. Yeah, yeah, so comfort's okay in the places that don't have heavy machinery. That new generator is going to be a massive pain. But to be... I think I think I have a workaround as well because I can put a secondary wall in there, so I'll basically give it its own space. Oh, this is fun. So it's like set it up and go. Why are there so many ships coming through here? Hmm. I should probably. <sighs> See how this goes. Yeah, it's, the games like this are, it's quite different from Wimworld, 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 it's quite different from Rimworld, because obviously you don't have this whole uh, open space with critters, and it doesn't seem to have problem. I mean I have a character that's suicidal, and unlike Dwarf Fortress, they haven't eaten their friends yet, so I think that's a good sign. The critical resource is low, whole box, yes needs infra blocks so I'm trying to sort that out. What did cause that power issue? I'm really not sure. I think I need to prioritize the construction of this more so than anything else. to let time pass. Wait, they actually got enough. Wow, okay. That's really good. That's really, really good. Um, right, let's do some linkage. Links, please. One, two. You can link to there, and you can link back into there. So, power-wise, what are the weaknesses here? You have... Okay, no, it's it's reasonably inter interconnected. Only improvements that could be... Yeah, so if you lose... Yeah, you'd need to lose this boy here and this boy here or that boy there to have a separation, but now there's power on both sides anyway. So that should be pretty killer on power generation. Um, although... It does. Let's have a look at how bad comfort is. Oh, look, terrible. <laughs> Funny that. Well, I think this is the solution. Also, should help contain fires. Natural, naturally fitting wall. Isn't that nice? Actually, let me tell you what. That can go. We put in another dig dung damn door. And then we can start putting some lights in now that we've got more power. Nothing possibly to go wrong. No monsters, no, no worries. Everything is well in the world. Nothing to go I think the wall lights are, I'm not going to call them OP because they're not, but not having to worry about materials and only having to fuss over um, 
the whole... I've just realised there's a reason I need a space suit in there is because there's no ventilation. Or at least I, I need to check all the O2 levels. There we go. If I get rid of that. Ah, okay. So comfort will improve as those walls go up. Which is good. CO2 is safe. O2 is high. Which is good. I do want to put a CO2 scrubber in that area. Still haven't got that door. Oh, never have enough resources. Please. I just need resources. Some whole blocks made. Hey. Oh, that makes other bits as well. That's nice. Alright, cool. So I'm just going to speed up again. Let stuff get built. Relax. Uh, and watch my minions go to work. <laughs> what is that? What was that supposed to be? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's a work sector. Okay. And everyone's asleep again because they're lazy. Lazy boys. <laughs> it's very... Um, this game is very elegantly done. That is a, th a thing I would say. It It's... It's smooth. Some of it is a little clunky. But none of it's game breaking. It, it it just feels really easy to work with. And it's the learning curve is oh what's going on now? Infra block, yes. Whole block. Right. Fine. No issues with any of this. That's a well lit room. Hazar. Oh look. Comfort lights. And this is not bad now. Like everyone sleeps in a nice place, everyone's happy. So what does the jukebox do for comfort? Does I is there jukebox thirteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they've got a nice, nice little living area. It's, it's, nothing's caught fire for a while. Ha <laughs> ha As long as that keeps up, it'll be fine. Hmm. <laughs> Have they built everything now? Or is it just missing doors? I think it's just missing doors. Yeah, they don't have enough stuff. Available five, yeah, okay, so energy scrap, infra scrap. Oh so it's it's done the jobs but it's not clearing them out. Hold on. Five. One. One one. Five one one one. So we don't have... Fuck's sake. <laughs> Why? Why is it on fire? Oh, who knows. It's handled. Great. Okay, so this is now finished. Which now means I can link... Kit to nothing. Right. Break that connection. So now that's centrally linked. Temperature's alright. Nine. Oh, they're cold. Oh, weird. Okay, so I need to put more heaters in. So you can see how it kind of does really really require you to pay a lot of attention to um, little details because I mean you can just really not pay attention to this game and then you will end up really screwed over okay that's all transferred I don't need human parts I do need infra scraps so please go get those and salvage that as well please Okay. 
So once again, I'm just gonna let it speed up and run. Get those doors made. Hopefully contain the horrible, horrible noise of that generator. And uh, yeah, should just tick over. But I'm gonna wrap up the rest of salvage. And I think we'll continue next time. Thank you very much for watching again. Um, if you are enjoying this and you want to see more, I'm planning on just making making videos, posting them up. Just relaxing, chilling out, having a nice time. So if you're enjoying yourself, feel free to subscribe. I'm not doing this for anything other than my own personal entertainment. So there's no pressure. And I will see you next time.